100 million views. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I left my phone on the table for that whole intro. How unprofessional. My apologies, guys. 100 million views. I'm so damn proud of that. That's three times the population of Canada. Feels good. What's up, guys? 100 million views. That equates to 7.5 million hours of Danocracy content being watched, which is 313,653 days. That's 859 years of Danocracy content consumed if it was all lined up side by side. Wow. Insane. Okay, stop, stop. You know what, guys, thank you so much for helping me get to 100 million views. Insane. Originally, I was going to do an entire video on that, but I realized it's not, I mean, it's a huge deal to me. I just don't know how big of a deal it is to you. You know what I mean? Guys, it's negative 15 degrees out today. Free, absolutely like skin shattering freezing outside. Poor Charlie, he made it like five minutes and he's like, I'm done, dad. You got to pick me up the rest of the way. I'm like, all right, son, my boy, I'll do whatever I need to do keep you warm. He's listening. Hi. <laughs> I love you so much, man. I love you so much. Okay, where were we? One of the biggest comments I got was liquid mirror is cool and all, but you paid too much. A lot of you guys are saying that I should try this up against Molotow liquid chrome. I believe it's called Molotow. Not only is it cheaper, but apparently you guys are saying it's more mirrored and boom. That's what we're doing today. I went on Amazon a few weeks ago, actually, and I bought a marker of Molotow liquid chrome. It says 20 years edition. I don't know. This is a four millimeter pump marker. So what we're going to do today is we're going to run some tests with liquid chrome versus liquid mirror and see which one is is better and how they differ. I can tell you right off the bat, this marker is way cheaper. I think I paid, I think I paid about $18 for this marker. If I'm totally wrong, I'll have it on the screen versus like $75 for the liquid mirror. We're going to do a few different tests to keep this sort of controlled. We're going to do this on the same piece. A lot of you guys said it needs to be a completely flat surface. It is the smoothest, cleanest, flattest piece of resin. So nice. So we're going to use that. Okay. Test number one. So the first time that you're using this marker, you're actually gonna have to pump it a few times to saturate the tip with the liquid that's on the inside. Now, these markers are hollow. It's just ink floating around. There's no tube. There's no refill cartridge. It's just an empty marker with ink. It's actually really satisfying to look at, to be honest. So using it for the first time, it's great. Like I could see that it's reflective. It doesn't have a big odor or anything like that. The only issue is you can see the marker lines and that might be an issue moving forward. I went ahead and spelt my name. It's great to work with. It's great to write with and it has a really cool effect. And that day I was actually wearing a blue shirt and you could see how reflective and chrome it actually is. So this is going to perform really well against liquid mirror. You can even see the detail on like my fingernail. So this is promising. I went ahead and did one half of our piece with liquid chrome. When I was doing this, you know, it's not an effective way to paint one of these pieces. It, it, you see the marker lines, it takes a long time. It's sort of like, you know, if you ever messed around with water on something that's hydrophobic, it sort of just streaks and drags it along. It doesn't actually do a complete coverage. And you can see it here actually. It's got the reflection. It's just, it's just being used in the form of a marker. I just don't know if it's the best way. Okay, test number two, write on a piece of paper, just like I'm gonna write my name and I'm gonna do a little scribble just to see what happens. So it's being applied to a different surface, but if we're gonna compare the two based on how versatile they are, this is important that we do it with paper. Let's try that. So for this, we're just using black paper and I spelt out my name, Dan. And it is not reflective at all on paper, guys. At least not, not cardstock or thick construction paper. It sucks it right up. And it's actually the same reflection or looks the exact same as a metallic Sharpie. Something you'd get somebody to autograph with. I went ahead and did a scribble test and the paper just drank it right up. So I went and I did a second layer just in case you guys were gonna say that. I also compared it against liquid mirror that's being applied with a brush. So this is a liquid mirror. It is reflective, but slightly foggy. And this is liquid chrome. It's a little bit clearer. I went ahead and did a second layer on our piece, thinking that if I applied more of this ink, it's gonna fill in the gaps and make it smooth. Well, unfortunately, no, it doesn't. It keeps the marker streaks. It's just so ugly and awful. And if you want a reflective surface, you're probably better off going with liquid mirror at this point because that marker streak, I just couldn't figure out a way to get rid of it. And what's so frustrating is that it is so damn reflective. You guys were right in the comments. Like this stuff is no joke. Look at the detail on the M from the logo. So clean. And this is liquid mirror. 
You can see it's foggier. It's still clean, but there is no streaks because it wasn't applied with a marker. The liquid chrome has a better overall reflection. Um, it's just the way it was applied with the marker is kind of ugly. And lastly, I didn't want to do this till the very end because it is going to actually ruin the marker. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of comments saying they got to be applied the same way. We've already learned that this actually is more reflective than liquid mirror. However, this isn't offered in like airbrush substance, you know? So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the top, pull out the ink tube, put it into the airbrush gun, and then we're going to airbrush liquid chrome in the same way we did liquid mirror. And let's just see the difference. Now, this isn't the prettiest way, but I took some sharp pliers and I just poked a hole just to get access to the ink on the inside. Now, again, there's no cartridge, there's no tube. It's just ink inside of an empty marker. So lucky for us, this is going to be easy to take out. Once the hole is big enough, I poured it into our airbrush. And so far, it looks the exact same as liquid mirror, to be honest. And I applied a coat. And then I applied another coat. Oh my God. Okay, I got to stop the voiceover for a second. But the reflection is unbelievable. Look at this. When this is applied with an air gun, it is a thousand times better versus like the mark. See the marker? Oh my God, that's incredible. Marker side, not so good. With airbrush? Wow. You do a couple more coats to get rid of those foggy spots? Uh, insane. Not only is it cheaper, it doesn't smell. It doesn't smell at all. I'm sure it's still bad to breathe in, but look, I love Stuart Semple. I love Culture Hustle. A big fan of the stuff they create, but this blows Liquid Mirror out of the water because it's cheaper, it doesn't smell, and you get a better reflection and effect. Just for comparison, this back half is liquid chrome. That front half is liquid mirror. It's still good. In fact, I would say liquid mirror makes it look more metal. It's just the reflection. Look at my thumb right here. It's just, you can even see it like, like night and day. And now for a full on comparison, this is fully painted with liquid mirror. Like you're getting a pretty clear reflection all the way like back here. Whereas this one is just a, you can see it's just sort of a blob of color moving. This one, you can actually see it's my hand. Insane. I'm really glad we did that airbrush. Huge game changer. I would have definitely gone with Liquid Mirror before. Oh, so there you guys have it. I want to I want to actually give you guys a round of applause, okay? Because you were right. You've been right three times. And it wasn't even right like, like, um, like a troll type of thing or like, like calling me a dumbass or this or that. It was just like, hey, Dan, you should try it like this. Or, hey, Dan, I, I, I know that this marker is better. So when I get that type of feedback and I get it reoccurring, of course, I'm going to try it out. Some people, the only way they know how to communicate with another human is like, yo, what up, dickhead? You got to try this, you dumbass. Like, like just, just be, be a normal human. If you have feedback, let's hear it. But do it in the way that it's consumable. Thanks so much for the comments. Thanks so much for the feedback and for, and for the suggestions. That marker was impressive. And in fact, it was more reflective than Liquid Mirror. It was cheaper. In liquid mirror it's just the way it's applied in, in pump marker form it's not the best way for this stuff to be used guys if you're enjoying these videos please subscribe to my channel it'll help me out a ton if you guys have any other products you want me to test out or review or compare comment down below or you can message me on twitter or even send me a dm on instagram yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see my next video when i hope it's warmer it's rough man that we're gonna get through it together okay thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next video